الرجال قوامون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم على بعض وبما أنفقوا من أموالهم فالصالحات قانتات حافظات للغيب بما حفظ الله تقال العسار العظام به ويعد الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر الإله And youth Get your act together. If you want to tell you, and boys, let me talk to you boys for a second. I've been meaning to talk to you. If you're 17 or 18 and saying, Mom, I want to get married, because you know, this is urge. I don't know what to do about it, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ali Imran, ayah number 114, زُيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ I just memorized that part. Right? Because I need the Qur'an to help me out here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. First turn into a man. What's your major? I don't know. I thought it was accounting, but I took a couple of courses and like I failed. And so, uh, I'm thinking I should do political science. <laughs> what are you going to do for work? I don't know. I'll figure that out when I graduate. <laughs> really? Because that just means you're still a child. I don't know why you have that strange accent, but... <laughs> <laughs> An Xbox 360, eight hours a day, and then he says, Brother Noman, how do I tell my parents I want to get married? <laughs> when you become a man, you can get married. Then you have a case to make. Look, mom, I'm carrying my own weight. Look, dad, I, I've been working. I can support a family now. I can take care of it. And this is actually, this is a conversation about maturity that's really important for both parents and young people. Uh, so if, you're, if, you're, if your kids are going to college, and you're paying their tuition, and you bought them a car, and you're paying for the insurance, and you got them health insurance, and, 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 then you know what? They're adults with beards, and you know, they're, they've hit puberty already, but actually when it comes to dealing with life, they're still children because they haven't taken any responsibility and that's why they can cut classes and fail and take another semester because daddy's always there to pay tuition and if dad gets mad, mom will, pay. Mom will make him pay anyway it's okay, I got it, I got this, I got my plan, you know so if that's the case with you then you're, the parents are responsible for not letting their children become adults I mean I'm talking about outside of med school Med school, you can't do anything, sorry, you're just, your life is over. But that's other, everybody else. But anyhow, if you don't start working ahead of time, then you know we're living in tough economic times, right? Nobody's gonna hire somebody with a degree in their hands and no work experience. And nobody's gonna hire you. And then you'll be sitting you know, on a chair you know, another few years before you, oh, I should get married. Or oh, I can get married, my parents can support me because the parents should support us. What, where, what happened to chivalry? You know, Ayn al What happened to just being manly? Be that. And then you can get married. Absolutely, you should get married. If you're mature enough, you should get married early. And I, I'm speaking, and I don't consider myself an ideal case by any like, stretch of the imagination. I was a spoiled brat myself when I was a teenager. But my, my father, my family had to move from New York. And I was living by myself in New York. I've been working 40 hours a week since I was 17, full time. High school, college, I, I took an extra year in college because I was working full time. 40 hours is a minimum I ever worked, right? But you know what, I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful I had to pay my own college tuition. I'm really grateful I only had $21 left almost exactly every single month in savings. Like it was by the T, I knew which days I have to eat, you know, how much I can spend on the subway, how much I can spend on food, how much I can spend on this or that, or the tuition, how much I need to save. And sometimes I didn't save enough and I couldn't take 12 credits, I have to take 9 credits. You know? But you know what? It really, really helped me in life. That dif difficulty really helped me in life. I'm really grateful that I was in that situation. I'm very grateful for that. I see that young people nowadays are not in that situation. 
Everything is taken care of. Everything is taken care of. And they never face the reality of having to stand on their own feet. The thought doesn't even cross their mind. So when their dad says, go clean up the backyard, they go, don't we have lawnmowers for that or something? <laughs> Can I just spend my allowance and go get some guys from Home Depot to do it? You can't even, you don't have any work ethic. Then you can't talk about marriage. Then you should not be talking about marriage. Because marriage is about running a household on your own. It's not just about, man, I'm gonna marry this beautiful girl, and it's gonna be halal too. <laughs> There's a lot more to marriage, okay? So that was my rant to young, young guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>